Hello you guys, it's Marky. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are going to be talking about protecting yourself in your craft and spell work. But before we even get into that, I just wanted to say thank you to 1,000 followers on Instagram. That is a huge accomplishment for me and I appreciate it so much. I know some of you are now subscribed to my channel because I am doing a 1k giveaway. I don't know what I'm doing with my hands. Stop it, Marky. So for this giveaway, I wanted to show you guys a little bit more up close and in depth what the winner is going to be receiving because I did make a post about it where you guys can enter to win everything and you get to see everything a little bit, but not up close like this. So one of the first things that you're going to be, I cannot do this. So I tried to make this video a couple nights ago and I kept saying, you're going to be winning you when, when you win this. When the winner wins, whoever that is, the winner is going to be receiving this rainbow tapestry right here. And it is great for, you know, sitting on outside, uh, laying out for your tarot readings. It's it's great for whatever you want to use it for. You can even use it for, like, if you want to wrap up your, your hair, whatever you want. But yeah, the winner is going to be receiving both of these oracle decks. And they come with books also, and not just, like, your flimsy paper books, but, like, actual nice like good thick booklets and both of these have been cleansed with sage palo santo and were put out under the full moon last month so they are good and cleansed and ready to go then the winner will also be receiving along with the cards a journal if you want to use it to you know maybe write down your readings in or use it as your book of shadows whatever you want it for Next, the winner is also going to be receiving this cute little bag. It's actually an Ipsy bag. I don't know what month it is from because I just can't keep track of everything like that. But yeah, you'll be get, the winner will be getting this cute Ipsy bag. So if you want to put uh, your one of your tarot decks in it for on the go, that'll protect them and help them from not getting ruined in your bag. And next, something else that I think is really cool and that I think the winner is really going to like is these handmade wood burned rune set and it is a full set of ruins a friend christine of mine made them and i cherish them i love them so much but i never use them i am not into ruins at all i don't read them so i don't want them sitting around not being used so i figured i'd rather cleanse them and throw them in the giveaway so the winner is also going to be receiving those and then one of the last things is i know i mentioned on the post it would be a custom abundance spell but I've decided that I'd rather just do it whatever candle spell you want, except no cursing or hexing. I am not going to be doing that. Nope, nope, nope. Get that out of here. Nothing negative. But other than that, I can do whatever the winner wants. And so I will use a votive candle like this. And then I'm going to end up personalizing and tricking it out by painting it, adding your name to it, and what it is that you want out of this candle spell. Whether it's love, money, um, cleansing, whatever the case may be. So other than those, the winner will also receive a three card tarot reading from me via Skype, or I can email it or DM it on Instagram. It is totally the winner's decision. I understand some people are not comfortable doing the face-to-face -face thing. So if you would rather I videotape it and then send it to you, kind of like a YouTube video, that totally is fine with me. Don't mind it at all. And whoop, Excuse me, throwing stuff and I would not take offense to it whatsoever. Now that I showed you guys all of the giveaway items, I want to talk about protection in your craft. Recently a friend Sarah of mine were talking about this because a friend of hers opened up to her and told her, was like, so, hey Sarah, so yeah, I am a natural healer, you know, I love doing it for people, I don't mind doing it, but the thing that bothered my friend Sarah is the fact that she's not protecting herself. And I cannot speak from personal experience what could happen and what are the risks if you don't protect yourself when you're doing a spell or a ritual or whatever it may be for somebody else, even a tarot card reading. Like I like to always wear my moon goddess pendant that I got in Astoria, Oregon and I'll put the link to the little gal's shop down below. She's the sweetest lady ever. I actually had to put a new string on it because I broke mine from wearing mine like every single day. So, oops. But yeah, um, I absolutely love it. But I feel like this absolutely, this moon goddess protects me and I am under a cleansing light and love when I am working with things. And whether it's a tarot reading or a spell for somebody, I recently did a spell for a friend of mine and I made sure that I wore that as well as saged myself and held selenite and put it over my body when I, before and after. 
something that also happens, oh, a friend of mine, Kyla, and we wanted to do this video together, but completely forgot when we were hanging out with each other because we just got so excited we hadn't seen each other in forever. So, but I wanted to share what per, what happened to her and a friend of hers, we'll call her Jane, because I don't believe they are friends anymore, I'm not sure, and I don't want to cause anything, but... They had a friend or a coworker, I can't remember who it was, but they were really, really sick. I mean, throwing up ill, had the flu. They were absolutely, like, just down with a virus. And they decided, oh my gosh, you know, we're new at this. Like, we want to do as much spell work as we can to get practice in. We should do a healing spell for her and do it together because that's even more powerful. Which I thought was amazing and so generous. And if you were willing to do that for somebody, you are awesome. Like, that is just absolutely, like, top of the line amazing friend right there but anyway they did the healing spell for her and sure enough they did not do anything to protect themselves no casting of a circle no black salt no um i mean even having a clear crystal quartz on you or a black obsidian or tourmaline is better than nothing because when you are that vulnerable you are basically letting yourself be a sponge to whatever energy you are pulling out of that person so instead of it just being released and going out into the universe and being gone it is being soaked up by you and absorbed into you therefore what happened to them could happen to you which was after they did that healing spell the night before they woke up the next morning and they were both deathly ill they were both vomiting they were both super sick i mean fevers and needed to hydrate it was really really bad so just from that alone i feel like it's not talked about enough in witchcraft and wiccan or paganism about prote i mean i know it's mentioned but i don't feel like they go into enough depth as to why you should really protect yourself because like i said you are literally basically letting yourself be a black hole to whatever energy it is that you're wanting to draw in for them and that could also make it to where the spell that you may do might not even work it might not go on them but go on you because instead of having that wall of protection around you that way it just kind of goes boom and goes out to the person it's meant for you it could be you could be absorbing that and taking it in rather than doing it for somebody else which i mean is great but not what you're trying to do so i'm going to share with you five simple ways to protect yourself before this video is over method one would be saging or palo santoing the area that you are going to be working in and yourself that way there's absolutely no no stagnant energy nothing negative or toxic about it situation the whole room is absolutely clean and clear and then way you are more ready and focused and have a good clean mindset to when you are doing this method number two would be casting a circle and I personally like to do mine by sprinkling the lightest little bit of black salt around the area around myself where I'm going to be working that way I can easily vacuum or sweep it up when I'm done and that way I feel like I literally have like a circular shield around me during my work method number three and it's super simple also not expensive at all would be crystals whether it's clear quartz black obsidian black tourmaline or amethyst or also labradorite those are all five protective stones and crystals right there in themselves so if you have any of those hold those in your hand put them in your bra put them in your pocket just have them on you that way that you know that the energy and protective like energy in them is on you and protecting you alone method number four and that would be um kind of similar to the sage and palo santo would be incense and incense are again really super cheap they're only like 10 cents at like i know my local mall vancouver mall you can go in there and get them for literally 10 cents a piece and it's not that hard whatsoever oh, method number five and this is also one that i mentioned already would be having a pendant or amulet that is enchanted or blessed with any kind of protective spell or ritual or oils or um I mean, really, whatever it is that makes, like I said, a crystal even, too. You could wear a crystal as a pendant. But having a protective amulet or pendant is, like, one of the absolute go-to ways, especially if you're like me and you wear it every day. You have formed a bond and connection with it. Therefore, it is protecting you even stronger, and you can be more reassured knowing that you are going to be okay. And like I said, it doesn't even necessarily have to be for a ritual or a spell. It could just be for a tarot reading. I know I personally... Just did a reading for a friend of mine when she was over hanging out and I was exhausted after she left. Drained, super tired, I wanted to take a nap. It was super duper bad. 
And I honestly think that part of it was that I did not have anything to protect myself. I wasn't wearing my pendant. I mean, was I wearing it? I don't remember. But, I mean, I should have at least saged myself, saged our, our area where we were working, or had a crystal on hand. And I really regret that I didn't. Thank you guys for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and learned something from it. If you guys want to see what's coming up next, please hit that subscribe button and like. I absolutely appreciate all of your guys' love and support. It means the world to me. If you want to enter my Instagram giveaway, I'm going to have my username down in the bio below. Go to my page, go to this post right here, follow the rules, and you will be entered to win all of the goodies I showed in this video, as well as a mystery gemstone slash crystal bag that I'm not showing because it's a mystery. Thank you guys for watching, and love and light to you guys, and have a blessed evening.